Rakuthu Yehoa, Rakuthu Yehoa, Rakuthu Yehoa Shai. Rakuthu Yehoa, Rakuthu Yehoa, Rakuthu Yehoa Shai. Rakuthu Yehoa, Rakuthu Yehoa, Rakuthu Yehoa Shai. Kal Halal Yehoa, Bahasham Yehoa Shai, Bahasham Rika Kodash. Give double honours to our apostles of Great Minstone, our true spiritual teachers. Bless you, Elder Apostle Tahar. Bless you, Elder Apostle Gabar. Bless you, Elder Apostle Rakar. Bless you, Elder Apostle Aramla. Peace and salutations to our sincere brothers pushing his truth throughout the four corners of the earth, risking their lives week in and week out. And Shalom to the hopeful elect. The hopeful elect, which are of men, women, and children. All praises and glory is forever due to our Heavenly Father and His beloved Son, Yahweh Shai. Now the demons tries to get involved in everything. Now this is the second time I'm doing this. Anything to do with glorifying and praising, exalt, exalting the Lord our power. The demons try to interfere. And this, I'm going to call this one here, rest assured in prayer. You see, that's what these demons don't want you to do. They do not want you to pray to the Lord, our power, and his son, Yahweh Shai. And that's spiritual because this was proof. When I started this five minutes ago, it was going good. Glorifying the Lord and His Son. Then I was interrupted. Through the left hand spirits. That's why this is very special. Serving Yahweh Basham Yahushai is special. That's why... Rest assured in prayer. It's all about the prayer. Nothing is going to come in between us and the Lord Yahweh and His Son Yahweh Shai. Nothing. Rest assured in prayer. Why am I saying that? The only time we get unease, the only time we feel less of a burden. I'm not saying we're not going to be heavy hearted, but we feel less of the burden when we pray to the Lord. Praying is the most beautiful thing that we should look forward to. Praying to the Lord Yahweh and His Son is the most beautiful feeling you can experience. That's why we must be, we must rest assured in prayer. That is a time when you feel comfort. This is why we need the kingdom. 
because we're going to be forever glorifying the Lord, Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai. In happiness. Because when we pray to the Lord now, you feel at rest, you feel at peace. But as soon as you finish up praying, it may be 10 minutes after, 5 minutes after, you get heavily hearted again. So praying to the Lord, pray, pray, prayer, is you, 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 you are guaranteed rest for that period of time when you pray. Because you remember you could pray one minute you could pray for, you could pray for five minutes, you could pray for ten minutes, you could pray ten times a day. When you're meditating on the Lord throughout the day, any time during the day when you meditate and you think of, you put all your thoughts to the Lord and you glorify His name and His Son's name throughout the day, you're praying. This is why praying is so beautiful. That's the only thing we have to hold on to now is prayer. That's all we have for happiness. We only find happiness through prayer. Talking to the Lord. Put all your cares on the Lord. Everything. This is when we feel the rest. You see, rest assured in prayer. First Kings 8 verse 51 For they be thy people and thine inheritance which thou broughtest forth out of Egypt from the midst of the furnace of iron that thine eyes may be open unto the supplication of thy servant and unto the supplication of thy people Israel to hearken unto them in all thy in all that they call for unto thee for thou didst separate them from among all the people of the earth to be thine inheritance, as thou sp spakest by the hand of Moses, thy servant, when thou broughtest our fathers out of Egypt, O Lord our power. And it was so that when Solomon had made an end of praying, And King Solomon was Yahweh Shai. And it was so that when Solomon had made an end of praying all this prayer and supplication unto the Lord our power, he arose from being, he arose from before the altar of the Lord our power from kneeling on his knees with his hands spread up to heaven and he stood and blessed all the congregation of Israel with a loud voice saying blessed be the Lord that have given rest unto his people Israel this is what it's about, you know. It's about Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai giving us rest. That's why we seek that rest. That rest in full is going to be in the new kingdom of heaven. But in the meantime, 
we must continue to always pray to the Lord because when we pray, that's the only time we get rest. That's the only time we receive rest. Rest assured in prayer. We should be, we look forward to praying. Every time you pray to the Lord, you always look forward to praying. Whenever you want to pray 24 hours a day, within the 24 hours a day. One minute, two minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Two times a day, three times a day. It doesn't matter how much you do. It's a beautiful feeling to pray to the Lord. You feel rest. You feel you feel rest assured praying in prayer. Brakatha Yahawa Basham Yao Shai Basham Rika Kwadash. Hey. Spiritual. Blessed be the Lord our power that have given rest unto his people Israel according to all that he promised. There have not failed one word of all his good promise which he promised by the hand of Moses his servant. Hear the sweetness now. The Lord our power be with us as he was with our fathers. Let him not leave us, for nor forsake us. Imagine going into the kingdom of heaven and the Lord's going to look at you and say, I told you so. I was with you all the time. I told you so. Even though it seemed like I'm afar off, I was always with you. Always with you. The Lord promised, Bless be our Lord that have given rest unto his people. The Lord is with us all the time. One second in, one second out. One hour in, one hour out. One day in, one day out. One week in, one week out. One month in, one month out. One year in, one year out. Blessed be the Lord that have given rest unto his people Israel according to all that he promised. My servant, I told you so. I told you so. I told you so. Brakatha Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Again. Yahweh Basham Yahushai Basham Rakakwadash. Brakatha Yahweh Basham Yahushai. They have not failed one word of all his good promise, which he promised by the hand of Moses, his servant. The Lord our power be with us, as he was with our fathers. Let him not leave us, nor forsake us. So look forward to praying, yeah? Look forward to praying later and enjoy your prayer. Enjoy it. Enjoy every moment of it. Rest assured in prayer.
That's the only time we get ease is when we're praying. So again, Kal Halal Yahweh Bahasham Yahushai Brakutu Yahweh Bahasham Yahushai Bahasham Rikar Kodash and double honors to apostles of great millstone who gave us the name because if you're praying without calling upon those names Yahweh Bahasham Yahushai it is not a prayer. The Lord will never forsake us. Glory be to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. We look forward for Yahweh Shai to come back. We live in hope. We are hoping that he comes back now. We love you, Yahweh. We love you, Yahweh Shai. Kwam Yasharallah. Amen.